hello friends welcome to our new video and the video is all about Assam current affairs 2018 this is the part one and you will get uh, in this video we will be posting 10 questions on Assam current affairs 2018 the content of the questions and the answers you will get uh, in tenjk.in website and we will also put the link in our description so do check this out before we start the video uh, if you checked our previous videos and if you liked and if you really thought that it would be it was helpful for you please subscribe to our channel so that you will get updated with new videos so let's start the first question is the airport authority of india has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Assam government for sustainable development of human settlements and villages in which of the following district options are Kamrup, Dibrugar, Kachar and Bogaigao. So basically the airport authority of India has recently uh, has an agreement with Assam government and as per the agreement they will be helping uh, to settle up villages near uh, settle up villages in one of the districts of Assam. So the question was, which is the district, which of the following district is selected for this work? And the answer is Kamrup. So uh, some important points about Airport Authority of India, or we commonly commonly known as I. So the MOU was signed on March 26, 2018, and it is under its corporate social responsibilities so guys if you know corporate social responsibilities are some of the responsibilities that any organization uh, let it be any private organization or government organization has to perform for social benefit of the whole uh, state or country where they are working they uh, it won't be they won't be getting any money out of this but it is for the help of the society where they are work where they are working okay so under corporate social responsibilities i is i has signed the mou on march 26 2018 so that the total amount of financial assistance to be provided by i is 4.58 crore so i will uh, i will provide 4.8 uh, crore to assam government for the setup of this villages so the amount of 4.58 crore it is decided by UNDP. What is UNDP? UNDP is United Nations Development Program. Okay, so full form of UNDP is United Nations Development Program, and it has headquarter in New York. Just remember the headquarter of uh, UNDP because uh, most of the uh, you know organizations under United Nations are having headquarter in Switzerland. But UNDP is having headquarters in New York. I is a statutory body under Ministry of C Civil Aviation. So I comes under Ministry of Civil Aviation. It was formed in 1995 and it has headquarters in New Delhi. Okay. So it everything uh, under civil aviation. Basically, I, the Airport Authority of India, maintains the uh, all the airports of India. Okay. So next question, which of the following date has been selected to be observed as Rhino Day in Assam? July 13, January 8, September 22, and December 21. <coughs> uh, Assam Chief Minister Sarvananda Sonwal has decided one of the days to be celebrated, celebrated as Rhino Day in Assam. And the answer is September 22. One point guys, uh, the September 22 is also World Rhino Day. So the same day had, date has been selected by Assam government also to celebrate the Rhino Day. So even remember that the question is like, uh, okay, I'll try. World Rhino Day, when it is celebrated, so uh, it is on the same day and it is when September 22. Okay, so the next question. Which of the following organization has sanctioned a loan assistance of 35 million dollars 
for the Assam State Public Finance Institutional Re Reforms Project. So there has been a project called uh, Assam State Financial uh, Public Finance Institutional Reforms. And under this project, one of the following organization has sanctioned a loan of $35 million. The question is which of the following organization? The options are World Bank, IMF, RBI, and Asia Development Bank. And the answer is World Bank. So basically World Bank has sanctioned a uh, $35 million loan to Assam government for Assam State Public Finance Institutional Reforms Project. Some of the important points here. Total program uh, is 44 million. If you remember the World Bank is providing 34 million and the total program is 44 million. So the remaining 10 million US dollar will be funded by state budget. So Assam state budget will give 10 uh, million US dollars and it will be used for the same reform. So the total duration of the program is five years. And what is the objective of this uh, program? So it is basically to improve predictability and transparency in budget execution and efficiency in tax administration in Assam. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so that uh, all the budget money is used on, and it is transparent for that matter only. The project has been carried out, and it is having a total value of forty-four million and forty-four million US dollars. And the program is having a duration of five years. Our next question. Some government signed an MOU with which of the following organization to increase digital literacy and take internet to remote villages. So we also check an MOU before. So remember, don't get confused of these with these things. Okay. So here we are talking about an MOU or a uh, agreement which one of the following organizations and the agreement is for digital literacy and mainly to take the internet to remote villages. We have options as Facebook, TCS, IBM and Google India and the answer is Google India. Next question is Assam government has recently launched Pranam bill. The bill covers which of the following topic. So Pranam bill is a very uh, I mean highly discussed bill in recent time. Okay, so uh, try to read more about this bill because there are possibilities that there may be questions on this bill as uh, many of the exams are you know in queue in uh, next five to six months so just try to read about this bill so here the question is like which of the following topic covers the pranam bill so one option a is making sanskrit mandatory till class eight making state government employees mandatory to take care of their parents or face salary cut providing skill training to surrendered militants and none of the above and the answer is b that is making state government employees mandatory to take care of their parents or face regard so uh, assam government has recently uh, passed the bill the pranam bill and it is having the full name as the assam employees parents responsibility and norms of accountability and monitoring bill 2017 uh, try i would suggest not to try to remember the whole name because it won't be you know easy to remember the whole name with all the bills are there just remember what is the context here so pranam bill 2017 what it includes is like uh, all if any government salary is employed if he has an he or she has any dependent parents or disabled siblings they will have to take care of their dependent parents or disabled siblings if they don't then 15 percent of the employee's monthly salary will be deducted at source and deposited to the bank account of a grave's parents or disabled siblings so it will be a uh, discussion between um, government body the employee and their parent or the disabled sibling and after the discussion at max 15% of their employees monthly salary will be deducted so uh, Assam is the first state to pass this kind of bill okay 
and it was highly praised in uh, the national level so there are high possibilities that some questions may be put on this bill in upcoming exams so next question is assam government has recently launched sart the full form is sustainable action for transport transforming human capital program in a joint initiative with which of the following organization options are world health organization ministry of health and family welfare in india indian medical association and niti ayog and the answer is niti ayog so don't get confused with the name of uh, you know human capital and all those stuff so the answer is niti ayog and <clears throat> there are some important points for niti ayog uh, as uh, niti ayog was formed on january 1 2015 replacing planning commission so before 2015 january 1 planning commission was there so niti ayog has replaced it <clears throat> on january 1 2015 the full form of niti ayog is national institution of transforming india prime minister picks the ex officio chairman so uh, who will be the chairman of the niti ayog the current prime minister and who will be the members the, pem- uh, the permanent members of the governing council are the state chief ministers along with the chief ministers of delhi and puducherry the lieutenant governor of andaman and nicobar and the vice chairman nominated by the prime minister <coughs> so niti ayog is a very important topic for exam so uh, they, there are questions like what is the full form of niti ayog when was niti ayog for uh, for who is the chairman of niti ayog and who among the following are the permanent members of the governing body and they will give you options like state chief ministers um, state finance minister etc etc <clears throat> so we will be having a different uh, video all together based on this uh, for niti ayog but uh, for now just try to remember these topics points at least so next question is a famous personality radhika mohan bhagwati has recently passed away he belong to which of the following <coughs> you may know that radhika mohan bhagwati has recently you know passed away and uh, the question is which he contributed to which of the following field the options are cinema journalism sports and politics and the answer is journalism <coughs> excuse me so uh, some important points on radhika mohan bhagwati so he was the recipient of sahitya academy award in 1991 for assamese translation of the story of our newspapers by sanchal sarkar so the book was written the uh, story of our newspapers was written by sanchal sarkar and he translated it to assamese language and he won the sahitya academy award in 1991 for this try to remember this point because uh, as radhika mohan bhagwati was recently in news for his demise uh, there may be questions on the book or when he received the sahitya academy award and for which book he received the sahitya academy award his uh, books some of other book uh, his other books are raktajaba bonoria phool ejon roza asil akhomiar bohorot akhomiar sari dhokor itihas so next question is isro has decided to set up a research center in which of the following city in north east isro has recently decided to uh, set up a center research center so question is which of the following city has been selected for this purpose the options are aizol uh, shillong aizol gangtok and guwahati and the answer is guwahati now what is the full form of isro it is indian space Organ- research organization it is one of the most famous uh, you know organization in india so try to be as much familiar with this as you can 
and it's having full form as Indian Space Research Organization and it was founded on August 15, 1969. ISRO was, ISRO surprised the erstwhile Indian National Committee for Space Research established in 1962. So in 1962, Indian National Committee for Space Research was formed and in 1969, ISRO replaced that organization. So Vikram Sarabhai is known as the father of ISRO. Okay. And ISRO has headquarters in Bangalore. So next question is to provide details of government schemes and projects which of the following web portal is launched by Assam government. So uh, our chief minister Sarbananda Sonwal has recently launched the uh, web portal which will be having the details of all government I miss the T here all government schemes and projects. The question is which of the following portal has been launched. The options are Assam Baturi, Ibarta, My Assam and Assam Dorpan. And the answer is Assam Dorpan. <coughs> so website is available both in Assamese and English. So and uh, uh, who has developed this website <coughs> and it is National Inform Informatics Center. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology as part of Digital India program. Last question. Who was the special guest at the first Naman, uh, Namami Brahmaputra River Festival in 2017? So you must be aware that uh, in 2017, the uh, Assam government had the first ever Namami Brahmaputra, which was followed by Namami Bara. And the question was, <clears throat> who was the special guest for this occasion? <coughs> uh, answer is the Prime Minister of Bhutan. It's an important question, I believe, um, because Namami Brahmaputra was very much highlighted. So uh, there may be a question based on this one. So remember the answer, and it is the Prime Minister of Bhutan. Some important points. Uh, who? who uh, inaugurated the festival, the then president of India, Pranab Mukherjee. The uh, festival was organized across 21 districts. <clears throat> Prime Minister of Usa, uh, Bhutan was Sering Togbe, sorry, Tog Togbe uh, and he was the special guest. So, guys, uh, 